hey guys my name is Michelle welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to be doing a quick review of this um, beautiful hair that was sent to me by chose me here um, it's a company on Amazon so if you want to see how I got this wig installed and got it together then stay tuned please don't forget to like share subscribe and also turn on your post notification bell so you know when i have my next upload see you at the end of the video okay guys so i have my stocking cap on which means i'm going to be doing a wig review slash wig install company reached out to me and sent me this wig um it's amazon it's from amazon it's called choose me c-h-o-s-e-m-e-e -E -E. and um so they sent me this um human hair wig um, it's a lace frontal 13 by 4 and he's a 180 percent density a Brazilian virgin hair so it's 18 inches so you know the satin bag is cute so the hair is natural black so it's straight hair so let me show you guys how it looks I may have to color it because I do like my hair to be jet black so it has Let's see, two combs in the front, one here and one here, all right, and then one in the, in the nape, also with the um, adjustable strap. So looking at this, I know I'm going to have to, you know, tint the lace or color the lace with some... I'm gonna use some makeup so I'm just putting the um, the straps because they are a little loose and we're just gonna plop it on our head and see how it looks before we start so um, feels like I am going to have to make it a little tighter it's pre-plucked so you know it's looking not too bad in the front my only thing with this hair I do wish that it was a more kinkier texture since this is not really how my hair would look you know naturally so it's 18 inches um more than likely I'm gonna cut the ends so let's um, cut off the lace and then I'll come back to style it with you guys okay but so far it, it feels it feels pretty good okay guys so I cut the lace off as you can see it's very light so when you cut the lace, you have to kind of like try to cut it like, you know, a zigzag motion so the lace won't be just straight across. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to flip it inside out like so. And I'm going to use my Fenty, my Fenty powder in 420 to color the lace a little bit. Try to match my, um... my scalp a little bit better so I'm just brushing the powder see how it's changing a little bit I want to make sure that it gets on the edge mostly okay I did buy um a tint lace mousse but I think I should have gotten a lighter color because it's too it's too dark for me so I hope they take it back at the store so I can get the right color all right that's how it's looking let's put her on and see if that made a difference
Okay guys, so I cut off the um, lace and I colored it with my foundation powder. So I'm just trying to define this part a little bit. We're gonna make it work, okay? Alrighty, so let me part out the scalp here. I need it to go a little bit back more. This part needs to be a little bit further back. Okay, so I'm going to try to use this um, wax stick to melt, not to melt, but to lay the, um, the top part down. Gonna put a little bit on top. I'm I'm going to try to do this before I even um before I glue it down, just so that the part could be more defined and it's more flatter here. We don't want it to look bumpy, bumpy. This side is flat, but then this opposite side is not so flat. On the top. Okay, it's laying a little better. Okay guys, so I'm going to put a little bit, even though this tint spray, this is Eben Tint Lace Mousse. It's uh, medium dark brown, so I'm going to put a little bit just on the front and I'm gonna rub it in just on the very front I'm not putting it everywhere because it's a little dark I'm just gonna dab it like that and I'm gonna use one of my brushes and just brush it in I have to be so careful with this most also because if you have nails on, it's gonna get all over your nails. All right, it's a little damp, so I'm gonna put it back on though. So I'm going to use the Eben um, Lace Bond Adhesive Spray, which looks like this. And I'm going to spray some on my area here. making sure I put enough
Okay guys, so I just tack the front part down using the lace spray. Um, I'm going to put some of my Garnier Fruities um, Sleek and Shine Serum on it. Take some of the frizz away. I'm going to flat iron it a little bit. So it can look a little bit more sleek. As I stated before, I just wish this hair had a bit of kink, more kink to it. But you know, we'll work with this one and see. See what happens. And I have my flat iron here. Try to see how straight I can get it, even though it's already straight, but just to take. I'm just dropping stuff over here. Just take some of the crank away. doing too much with it but it's a little bulky especially on this side Okay, I think it's straight enough, but um, the ends are looking a little bit uh, too thin. So, we're going to just trim the ends. Nothing major, I'm just gonna part it in two. a little bit to make it appear a little bit more fuller Do the same thing to this side and I'm gonna have to fix my parts because it's a little bit too small I need to widen up the space a little bit with some foundation some powder
let's put some foundation at the top. I'm using my Fenty powder. Might be a little bit too dark. I have a lighter one here. Put some on top. That's a little better. What do you guys think? I didn't glue the sides down. I just glued the front right here. The front part down. What do you guys think? I'm definitely going to color it and make it a little bit um, darker. Now, because it's um, the 13 by 4, you can part it on the side if you want to. You just have to define the part more. Yeah, you could part it on the side. Anywhere. But for now, we're going to leave it just like that. I think the um, I think the lace melted pretty good in the front. What do you guys think? You can't really see it, right? I think it did pretty good in the front, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of my wax stick right here, just to take away the frizz. Not really sure how it's looking in the back, but let me give you guys a 360. That's the side. Let's see that the back. The other side. Yeah, it's not that thick. It's just, you know, regular. Regular density is 180, so. It's not full full, but it, it can do, it will do. I'm just using my um, contour brush just to Cover up the lace a little bit in the front here, just a little tight piece that's showing. Yeah, I think we can open up the part a little bit more. Maybe next time I wear it, I could put some, um, put a little bit of curls in it. Or, I may even cut her in a bob, but that's what we're looking like. Okay guys, so I decided that I want to put a few curls in the hair. Um, because I just feel like it would look a little better. It will give it some more body. So I'm just using my flat iron and just doing a couple bumps. Nothing major. 
I started doing the front already and I'm just grabbing it in big chunks so I'm not doing it like you know big like that all right let's do this side really quick I'm going to do this part back And then for this immediate piece in the front, let me do it, let me do it forward. And then I can just flip it back. You guys think it looks better curled, right? Just a little curls and just some curls, slight, you know, just a little bit. What do you guys think? I think it looks better in the curls. That's just another option, you know. Just a few bumps. Okay guys, and just like that, we have come to the end of the video. Um, the wig was pretty easy to install. The only thing that I would change about it will be the color. Uh, I do like my hair jet black, but we can always color it. That's no biggie. So I hope you guys enjoy the quick tutorial slash install. Thank you to Choose Me for sending me this wig to review. I hope that you guys enjoy and I will also make sure I leave the link down in the description section for this wig just in case you are interested i do want to thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe and also turn on your post notification bell so you know when i have my next upload i hope you guys are having a great holiday so far and stay tuned and i'll see you next time bye guys thanks for watching